Red Faction Guerrilla is getting a remaster this July. I've had some time with the game and here's what you can expect. Guerrilla is a beloved entry within the franchise, and rightfully so. There's a lot to love about Guerrilla, especially if you've never had the chance to play this on last generation consoles. The basic story setup revolves around your character coming to Mars for work. Upon his arrival, he finds out Mars is not a friendly place. The EDF have taken over Mars, and the workers need to contend with this violent opposition. Your brother is already involved within the Red Faction, fighting for the freedom of the people. You quickly get roped into the fight yourself, and your main goal is to tear down the EDF. The story is fun, but the real star of the show is the gameplay, and the biggest star of all is the destruction. The destruction was very impressive back when it was originally released, and it still is. Hitting objects with your hammer and watching it break is just a fantastic experience. Blowing up buildings represents an almost awe-like moment of destruction. While the story missions focus themselves within one region at a time, you are free to drive around the open world to find extra supplies and side missions. The third person shooting is good along with all the action. You'll feel like you're contending with this large opposing force, and very satisfying when you emerge victorious. There's a lot to love within the single player. The game boosts an improved frame rate, which is greatly appreciated as the game runs at 60 FPS. You'll also have access to the single player DLC for the game. The last star of the show is the multiplayer, and this is because of the destruction. You'll start on a map, and it will look really different by the time you reach the end of the match, and this plays a big part into the destruction because you have all these large structures within the multiplayer, and as you're firing around, shooting all the opponents, blowing people up, the buildings start crumbling around you, so it's going to look like a very different space by the time you reach the end. Hopefully enough people buy the game to create a decent player base for the game on next-gen consoles. The game is releasing for $30 and is a great value for new players, and while there isn't much here for historical players, the budget price makes the double dipping that much more inviting. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other ones. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out my Patreon page at the end of this video and the description down below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.